in a rare show of unity, we have all major news outlets in Australia having staged a mass protest against this increasingly draconian secrecy laws that were passed by the government, which are infringing on press freedom and the public's right to know. They're trying to keep them in the dark in mass. People super upset. It's gotten so bad down here, and it will get to this level if people don't stand up. It's gotten so bad that you can almost not even hear the voices coming out of Australia no more. You can't hear the people. Anything they're saying, it's all controlled through a media. You see how that works? This, this works in all kinds of countries like this globally, in platforms that just pick countries that they don't want you to hear about, like Jack said on Twitter about Venezuela, and just remove it out of sight, out of mind. They just will not show you anything else on it. Well, the people ticked off here. They're saying, Rivals New Corps Australia and Nine, among others, printed front pages which showed blacked out, redacted text with red stamps that said secret on the front. This is how they were all looking. They all did this in mass to basically show this is what you're doing. This is what you want us to do. In so many words, you want everything secret. You don't want the people to know certain things, all this stuff. So they're fighting back in this sense. Now, it's not every single outlet. Of course, some of these outlets, in my opinion, the bigger ones, CB, uh, CBS or ABCs, you know, the ones that operate in this country, they're just going along with the flow there to make it look like they're standing with, with the opposition there. That they're not one of the bad guys, you see? Because if they were to not make this stand, they would stand out, stick out like a sore thumb that they're working for the man and their intentions. But no, they jump on board here in Australia to make it look like, all across the board, all the, the media is on the same team, which is not the case. It is not the case. So don't fall for that illusion neither, okay? What is true to be seen, though, is there's massive censorship going on here in Australia Something has got to change. The powers and the people and the politics that you represent, that you bring to the table, you got to make them face the fire in some of these situations. And that's not just in Australia, it's globally. But this is what's happening here as they've made this move, trying to get the attention of others out there, showing them exactly what's going on with these draconian secrecy laws that were passed by the Australian government. So... Make sure you're following me on Twitter for the latest breaking news and hit that bell notification on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed because as you can see here over the next few days, they're saying that you may see a noticeable decrease in your subscribers because we're removing people en masse. Seems like it's been happening forever, but now we've got a banner where they're just flat out stating what's going on. So make sure you're subbed and all that good stuff. I'll continue to update. Links below. Peace.